Hello, everybody, and welcome to Unwind and Design. So let's get started. Today, we're going to be using our two brushes. We're going to be using our square size 5 8 brush and our round tip size 5 brush. We're going to go ahead and place those in our water to get them ready so that we can start painting. Next, we have our towel and we have our primary colors. We have our red, yellow, blue, black, and white. Okay, so to get started, we are going to begin by picking up our round tip brush. Let's get some of that water. Let's scoop it like a spoon and let's put it next to our yellow. We're going to start to draw our little unicorn first before we paint her in. And we're going to add a little bit of water. And then I'm going to scoop in this yellow. When the yellow mixes with our water, then we're going to begin to mix it so that it looks like yellow soup. Okay, so mix it right in the corner. Don't paint in the middle. You want to paint in the corner. Because then if you use the middle, you dirty all your colors. And then you're not going to have any color left over. So it's easier to just paint in the corner so that you have paint for later. I'm gonna get a little bit of this yellow and I'm gonna to start to outline my head first. So this is half of my canvas. On top, we're gonna to do a nice big oval. And you wanna leave a little bit of space on top. Next, we're gonna put a little circle right on top of this. So we're doing one little, more like an oval. There's one. Okay, so you're going to go around one, and then you're going to go smaller, two, smaller, three, and there you go. You have a little horn for your unicorn. So it's one, big, small, smaller, or you can do a triangle too. We can do a little triangle also. So whatever is easier for you, you can put a triangle on top. And there we go, we have a cute little horn. So again, you can do the two little arches or the three little arches, or you can draw a triangle. Both are okay. Next, we're gonna do the little ears. And let me show you what those ears are gonna look like. On the side of the head, we're gonna do one line. On the other side, two, we're gonna do another line. Going up, up, and then we're going to do a line coming down like a moon and down. And we have our little ears there. From here, we're going to start to draw the body. So on the sides of the head, we're going to make one line, two lines, really small. And we're going to bring those lines down. See, it almost looks like a little dress, right? So we go one line to the side and it looks like a little skirt. So again, we're doing one line, two line, and it looks like a little skirt. Next, I'm getting a little bit more paint and I'm gonna do two big circles. It's the little unicorn's feet. Next, we're gonna get some more of this yellow and we're gonna make the legs going up. And then we're gonna make it look like a rainbow whoop, coming all the way around. So we're gonna do a little rainbow line, a little arch. There we go. Next, we're gonna work on the arms. We're gonna make three lines for the little arms. So we're going to do one line in the middle, one on the side, and one on the side. And you want to come down a little bit. See how I'm going a little bit past the line? I'm going to make go down on the bottom of the line, and then we're going to close in the little hands. The next part is gonna to be to put our round tip into our water and clean it up. 
And then we're gonna pick up our square brush. Remember, if your brush is dirty or full of paint and you're not using it anymore, don't forget to put it back into your water. Okay, guys? That way you can still use it later. Okay, so we're gonna come in with our square brush and we're gonna start to pick up this yellow and add water to it to make more because we want it to be soft. We're going to paint all of our background, all of the back using this yellow. So let's get our square brush and let's start painting everything in the back. And we're going to go up and down, up and down, nice and slow, down or up. Or you can do both, up and down. And we're gonna do this nice and slow. Pretend that your paintbrush is a little ballerina dancing on her toes, okay? We want her to slide smoothly. We don't wanna ruin our brushes. We don't wanna press really hard like that. because Then we break our brushes. We wanna take care of them. Okay, so we want to just feel the brush slide when we're painting. Look at how cool it is for us to push paint around and to get such a cool painting. Okay, let me get some more of this yellow. I'm going to paint around the feet, around the legs, and the bottom of the legs and I'm gonna paint in all of this white section and I'm gonna fill it with that yellow, nice and slow, okay? Drag the paint, push the paint around. So we're gonna paint in this side over here. We're going nice and slow, back and forth back and forth, very light. And we're gonna start to fill in all of this section. After we've painted in all of that background, we're gonna start to paint in part of our feet in. So we're going to get our same detail brush now. We're going to put our square brush into our water and we're going to pick up our detail brush. And this time we're going to mix a little bit of blue and a lot of white in the corner. Okay. So I'm going to pick up my blue and I'm going to put it in a corner and then I'm going to pick up a little bit of my white on the side and then I'm gonna mix it. And look at how pretty that is. It's baby blue. It's blue and white. Baby blue. And we are going to paint the little horn. So you can paint the triangle horn if you want to. And look at how pretty that's pretty looking. This is such a really pretty blue. Next, I'm gonna paint in the little feet in the front here. There you go. And we're also gonna paint in the round feet. Next, we're gonna get a little bit more blue and we're just gonna add a blue shadow underneath and on the sides of the feet. Blue, blue, blue. So now we have light blue and dark blue. We're also gonna get this dark blue and we're gonna make lines from one side to the other, almost like an ice cream cone. 
So we're going to start at the bottom and curl up. And we got ourselves a little horn. I'm also going to add the line right in the middle on the feet. And there you go. Next, I'm going to get some black. And I'm going to start to outline the bottom part of my unicorn. So I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to make one big line on the side with that black. You see that? So making one big line. And we're gonna outline all of the body. Here's another line and another line. Here's the sides of the legs. And here's the little sides of the arms. And you can paint on top of the yellow if you want to. It's okay to paint on top of it. There we go. And you know what? Why don't we outline the feet too? So, hey, that looks pretty cool. When you outline something, it really helps make it pop. The black really stands out, especially if you outline it with black. The black really makes all the other colors stand out. Now for the rest of my little unicorn, we're gonna outline the ears. Let's do this ear, and then let's do this ear. Remember, we're painting one step at a time. Next, we're gonna outline the head. But well, we're gonna stop halfway okay so don't go all the way to the top leave a little bit of space right there next we're going to draw the nose so we're going to make a little arch again we're going to make a little arch almost like a rainbow arch then we're going to add two little nostrils so our little unicorn can breathe. And you know what? I think we should give her a little smile too. Next, we're gonna do the eyes. Here's one big eye. And here's the other eye. I'm going to add a little line on top of the ear. And then finally, I'm going to add a little bit of some eyelashes on the side of my little unicorn. Her eyes look kind of dark. What do you think? I think we should add a shimmer. So we're going to wash our brush, make sure there's no black, because you can't get a shimmer if your brush has black. Shimmers are white. So we're going to wash our brush. Then I'm going to get a scoop of white. And I'm gonna add a big shimmer and then a little shimmer. A big shimmer and then a little shimmer. And we can even add a little line underneath. I think this unicorn is looking cute. We can also add a little bit of white on the horn, on the feet, and on his arms. And now we're gonna paint a rainbow for the hair. So what color should we start with? I think we should start with red. So we're gonna get red and we're gonna put a little bit of red right on top of the hair. Okay, so here we go. We have a little bit of red. Next, what color do we use? What about, hmm, what about yellow? I know we already used it but we can still use it. Yellow's on the, in the rainbow. So we're gonna get a little bit of yellow. Oh, and it's turning orange too. How cool is that? Okay. 
What's another rainbow color we can use? How about green? Let's get our brush and let's wash it. Clean, 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 clean. And how do you make green? You mix a little bit of yellow and blue. So blue and a little bit of yellow. And there's the green. So we're going to get this green. And that's going to be the next color. What about the last color? Or maybe should it be the last? I think maybe we should have two more colors. What about two more? Hmm. I think the next color should be maybe blue. So we're going to add blue. And then the next color should be, what do you guys think? Purple. How do you make purple? You mix blue and red. So again, how do you make purple? You mix blue and red, and that gives you purple. Let's see what it looks like. Look at how pretty that is. Purple. I think we should give our little unicorn a tail too. So how about we add the tail right here in the back? So let's come in with some color and let's add it right here in the back. And now let's go backwards. So the first color over here is purple. What's the next color? Blue. So let's use blue now. Wash your brush. Pick up your blue. And now let's use blue. What's the next color? Green. And how do we make green? We mix our blue and we mix our yellow. So let's use green next. Let's see what that looks like. Nice. Next, we have yellow. We could probably leave it like that. And then the final color we have is red. So wash your brush, leave a little bit of space. And now let's use our red. And there we go. Our little unicorn has some red. You know what our unicorn is missing though? Some pink cheeks. Do you guys remember how to make pink? What colors do we use? We use red and what color? White. And when we mix it, we get pink. And what we're gonna do with this pink is we're gonna add little cheeks on the sides. How pretty. I'm also gonna add a little bit of pink on my unicorn. And on the back, we're gonna add a couple of other things. We're gonna be adding some hearts. We're gonna add a little heart over here. And every time we paint, we want to make our paintings different. We don't always want it to look the same. Okay? Just like we don't want our paintings to look like our neighbor's paintings or our friend's paintings. We have our own unique style. And you guys should be excited for your style and be like, man, I'm my biggest cheerleader. I love my art. And we're just gonna keep adding hearts. We could add rainbow hearts. I love using rainbow hearts because I love colors. All the colors are my favorite. People tell me, what's your favorite color? I tell them, I don't have one. I like all of colors. All of the colors are beautiful in their own way. Okay, so I'm gonna come up. And now I'm gonna start picking up maybe a little bit of blue. 
So let's add some blue hearts on there. Look at all these colors we made today, guys. You guys made green. You made purple. You made pink. So many colors. You guys should be proud of yourselves. And you know what? What about pink? Maybe I should add some pink hearts too. Or purple. Light purple. Oh, and don't forget that green. I forgot to add that green in there. And how do we make green? Blue and yellow. So let me add some green hearts in there too. And there we go. When we're done, I'm just gonna get a little bit of this blue and I'm gonna put my signature right over here. After this, you guys should be done. And there you go, a colorful unicorn. So thank you guys so much for painting with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this painting as much as I did. It's a very fun, simple painting, very easy, very light, it's really child-friendly. Hopefully you guys like it and I am excited to paint with you guys next time. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.